watching this dog there in distress, um, I felt like we had to do something. Robert Yee of Bend was taking his dogs for a walk at Reynolds Pond near Alfalfa on Sunday when he heard calls for help. He saw a dog's head peeking out from the water about 100 feet offshore and decided to try rescuing it, contrary to advice of emergency dispatchers. Fortunately, by the time I broke through and I went into the water, I was able to immediately stand up. Uh, it was, so it was about chest high in water. Yeah, I was able to break about 10 more feet of ice in front of me that was soft. And then I was able to grab the dog's collar and pull him towards me. If the ice isn't going to support the weight of a 50 pound dog, it's probably not going to support the weight of a 100 some odd pound human. A similar ice rescue on Saturday at the Hatfield Lakes near McGrath Road. A dog fell through ice and people who went in to rescue it also broke through into icy cold water. Everyone managed to get out. Very lucky because it doesn't take a whole lot of time in that kind of cold water for hypothermia to set in and for a person to become incapacitated. Lucky in more ways than one. The water is shallow this time of year in both locations, which allowed people to touch bottom. I don't want to be a statistic as far as ice water immersion and drowning and that kind of thing. This was the third ice rescue this winter involving the Bend Fire Department. Fire departments are equipped and trained for ice rescues. They respond to dogs falling through ice because they don't want people trying to rescue their dogs also falling in. Brooks Snavely, Central Oregon Daily News.